Hey YouTube, this is College 2, just with another tutorial about auto-aligning layers. And so this is kind of like auto-aligning part 2. So before I said that you can use it for a high resolution, taking a super high resolution photo, or you can do um, with a panoramic picture, or show a person in a photo multiple times. And this time we're going to show how to do um, a panoramic photo. And so right here I have uh, multiple pictures of the uh, pictures that I took on top of Half Dome in Yosemite. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just I made a new file just like I did before, and I'm just going to throw them in there, and then I'm going to minimize it when I'm done, so I know that I'm done using it. And so I'm just going to put all these files in a new, in a new, uh, in a new file. So I have this one super big file, and it's just it's just all hanging out right here. And then I'm going to move them generally where I think they should go, just to make it easier on the computer. Alright, that, that looks fine. And then as you can see up here, we're uh, right now we're viewing this at about 13% of its original size. So if we zoomed all the way in, we're not, like, this is 100% right here. And so um, it's really, really high resolution. And so we want to make this just a little easy on the computer. And if you're not going to use this for, like, re uh, commercial purposes, then I suggest uh, bringing this down a whole lot. So right now we're viewing it at 13%. And so if... If, uh, if I want to put this down just to make it easy on the computer, we'd still just have a fine photo. If I'm just going to throw it down to about 30% its original size. And so right now this is 13%. And then, see, but then it looks really small, but then we'll zoom in. And still, we're, at, we're only viewing it at 62% right now, which is hardly anything. Alright, so now I'm going to select layer 4, and then click shift, and go, click on layer 1 so it selects them all. And then go edit, auto align layers. And then we're just going to say auto right now. And then I'm going to pause this just so you guys don't have to wait through the load time. Alright, so here it's starting to finish up right now. And, okay, cool. So now you can see here that there's a bunch of these pictures, and they all just curve around nicely. And you get a kind of a cool um, fisheye look. But the only problem is, as you see, we have these lines right there, and we have these lines right here, and lines right here. And so that's not really what we want. And so, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to look at this, oh that's pretty cool, whatever, and then um, with these layers still selected, we're going to go to edit, auto blend layers. And so what blending does is it'll take different parts of the picture and it'll pretty much just blend them together and create masks on top of the pictures so that it blends nicely. So you can see over here that there's a bunch of masks that are just made, but then you can see that these lines are, you know, gone, pretty much gone. and. Yeah, and so pretty much that's the last thing we need to do, or one of the last things, and then the last thing you can do is just crop it to get all this white space away, so you can get a nice picture, and then there you go. So now you can see here that it it, it was four different pictures, but now they blend perfectly, and you can't see any lines, and it just look, looks, you know, looks pretty good. And so this is how to make a panoramic picture with auto-align layers, pretty, really, really quick and easy. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just message me, and if you want to, subscribe. It's all good. All right. Bye.